For the last few months, a massive bamboo complex has been slowly rising out of the verdant backcountry of Bali. It may look like a circus big top, but this is the heart of a new green school. This area here has no poles. It's made almost entirely from bamboo, it's and its founders, John and Cynthia Hardy, hope it'll be on the very cutting edge of environmental education. The idea of green school is uh, three years ago. It came as a flash. Can we build a school that's green? Can we build a holistic school that's green? It's a school for the future of the earth. It's a school for the kids to understand how precious the earth is and having been exposed to this very natural environment with natural building materials with a holistic focus. We think that kids will come into the world as very caring, conscious human beings. There's a heavy emphasis on engaging with the environment. Pupils grow their own vegetables and eat what they harvest. The school's just opened in September and caters to children from kindergarten to grade eight. So far, there are 103 pupils, but there are plans to expand rapidly. A lion screamed as loud as she could. Ah! The educational model is based on the Steiner system, named after an early 20th century Austrian educator, Rudolf Steiner, who believed in balancing academics with artistic and social learning. And at Green School, there's plenty of Balinese culture thrown in for good measure. Well, we're not in an air-conditioned classroom. We're not all facing the same direction. We're not all in a, a rigid, timetabled situation. There's a little more creativity, much more fluidity. The classrooms look more like boats, with 80% of the students international from 17 countries. The other 20% are Balinese here on scholarships. The teachers here are very nice and Green School has a green solution and it's quite nice to nature. And... Erica Carpenter moved to Bali from California so her two sons could attend Green School. That old educational environment was developed 150, 200 years ago, and the world's changed so much since then. The school is designed to have the smallest carbon footprint possible, from composting toilets to no air conditioning. Children get to interact with animals, and the manure from the livestock is used to make methane gas for cooking. Power is generated from this hydroelectric vortex on the river, which runs right down the middle of the campus, providing a spectacular natural playground. And as this school is finished, John and Cynthia have honoured those who've supported it by carving their names on the bamboo pillars. They hope this incredible heart of school will gradually be covered with the names of their friends. And CNN is proud to be among them. Dan Rivers, CNN, Bali.